In short, every semi-automatic weapon used in the terrorist attack on Friday will be banned in this country. Military-style semi-automatics, assault rifles, and all high-capacity magazines. All that and more will be illegal in New Zealand, according to Prime Minister Jacinda Ardern on Thursday. The country saw its worst mass shooting last week when 50 people were gunned down at two mosques in Christchurch. In the immediate aftermath, Ardern labelled it a terrorist attack and vowed that New Zealand's gun laws would change. What's important now is that New Zealand public is galvanised and I would hope that politicians are galvanised behind these changes. The new laws are expected to kick in by April 11th and the government will be buying back banned weapons. Ardern says she expects the buyback will cost up to 138 million US dollars. New Zealand, a country with less than 5 million people, has an estimated 1.5 million weapons. Most farmers own a gun for killing pests like possums or rabbits or for putting down injured stock. Some have already surrendered their weapons after the shooting. For me, the utility or convenience of a semi-automatic rifle weighed up against the possibility of another tragedy like we've witnessed in New Zealand um, is really not uh, a difficult comparison at all. Dozens of injured are still in hospital, with eight of them in critical condition. Meanwhile, New Zealand police say all of the 50 bodies have now been identified. Burials of the victims have already begun and a mass burial is expected to be held on Friday.